The introduction of the Tesla Semi six months ago has given us a glimpse into the world of electric heavy trucks and their adoption by major companies like Pepsi Corporation. However, it's important to recognize that we are still in the early stages of this new venture. Tesla is pioneering a market that has yet to establish its rules and norms. This move represents their dedication to pushing the boundaries of electric transportation and revolutionizing the trucking industry. Welcome to Prima Invest. The ongoing development of the Tesla Semi presents an exciting opportunity to witness the future of transportation firsthand. While Tesla has maintained a level of secrecy surrounding the specifics of their semi truck, we can glean valuable insights from their initial customers, such as Pepsi Corporation and its subsidiary Frito Lay. PepsiCo's unexpected commitment to sustainability is evident in their order of 100 Tesla semi units back in 2017, solidifying their position as one of the major customers alongside Walmart and UPS. Additionally, PepsiCo currently operates a fleet of nine other electric vehicles from BYD and Peterbilt, as well as 39 gas powered Volvo trucks, highlighting their dedication to environmentally friendly transportation options. Two groups of Tesla semis are currently in operation. The first fleet, comprising 15 trucks, is based at the Frito Lay plant in Modesto, California. These trucks were part of Tesla's initial release in April. Another fleet of 21 semis has been delivered to the Pepsi Corporation bottling facility in Sacramento. Michael O'Connell, vice president of supply chain at Pepsi Corporation, provided insights into the real world use of these semis. The Modesto trucks frequently embark on trips spanning up to 425 miles on a single charge, while the trucks transporting Pepsi from Sacramento cover 100 mile routes directly to stores, sometimes traveling between warehouses over distances of 300 to 400 miles. When questioned about promoting the 500 mile, fully loaded trip capacity of the Tesla Semi, Pepsi declined to provide a comment. However, based on the gathered information, it can be inferred that transporting lighter potato chips enables easier movement over longer distances with an electric truck. While this insight may not be groundbreaking, it warrants further exploration. It is important, however, to consider several factors before assuming that the Tesla Semi is underperforming. Firstly, as a new and significant investment for Pepsi Corporation, they naturally exercise caution in pushing the trucks to their limits immediately. The current production of Tesla Semis likely employs the company's standard nickel-cobalt-manganese battery cell, which necessitates maintaining a charge between 10 and 90% for optimal battery lifespan, as charging to full or depleting to zero stresses the battery's chemistry. PepsiCo, as a business focused on maximizing its return on investment, prioritizes the careful management of its Tesla battery packs to avoid pushing them beyond their limits. Unforeseeable real-life conditions such as traffic, construction zones, and detours further contribute to PepsiCo's cautious approach when operating the Tesla Semi. An exclusive update reveals that the Frito and Pepsi plants are currently the only locations equipped with EV chargers capable of supporting the powerful Tesla Semis, preventing them from recharging while on the road. Interestingly, these Semis feature a massive 1,000 kilowatt-hour battery pack while Tesla Mega Chargers can provide 750 kilowatts of power for rapid recharging. According to experienced truck drivers, this charging setup can replenish the semis from near empty to a 70% charge within approximately 30 minutes, enabling them to cover an estimated 400 miles on a single charge. It's worth noting that the following figures are not official Tesla statistics, but rather insights gathered from interviews with truckers by Motor Trend reporters. Additionally, an unofficial Reddit user shared details about a Pepsi-branded Tesla Semi they had the chance to explore. Their April post included photos showing the truck's display with a range of around 374 miles, although the battery percentage was not visible. But considering the truck's location, approximately 25 miles from the Pepsi bottling facility, and accounting for its initial 70% charge and 400-mile range, the reported range aligns well with the actual distance covered, providing context to these unofficial reports. Although the exact price of Tesla's long-range semi-trucks remains unknown, 
it has been revealed that PepsiCo secured substantial funding for its Tesla semis through government grants. A report by Yahoo indicates that PepsiCo received an impressive $15 million in state and local grants to facilitate the acquisition of Tesla semis and the necessary charging infrastructure. Moreover, they obtained an additional $40,000 per vehicle from the federal government's Inflation Production Act. As a result, the cost of these trucks becomes insignificant, especially in California, due to the availability of various financial incentives. Notably, the Sacramento Metropolitan Air Quality Management District played a significant role by providing a generous grant of $4.5 million, funding 18 out of 21 trucks at approximately $250,000 per Tesla Semi. Tesla's ability to strategically lower prices in the face of recent developments within the electric vehicle industry such as Rivian and Lucid's financial results and Fisker's production challenges highlights its resilience and operational efficiency. While early Tesla adopters may have understandable frustrations with these price adjustments, it's important to consider the broader context of the past two years, including semiconductor shortages and significant advancements in lithium technology. Despite these challenges, Tesla continues to dominate the EV market, commanding an impressive 60% market share. For devoted Tesla investors, it's natural to have an optimistic outlook on the company's future. Nevertheless, it's important to recognize that alternative long-term investment options exist in the market. Reports have highlighted concerns regarding the reliability of Tesla semis, citing multiple breakdown incidents over a six-month period where trucks were stranded or required towing. However, it appears that these issues stem from the software glitches rather than mechanical failures. Truck operators have encountered challenges with Tesla Semi's display screen, including issues like screen flickering and complete shutdowns. The functionality of the touchscreen is crucial for controlling various vehicle features and monitoring blind spots through external cameras. Consequently, Drivers experience concern and often pull over when faced with these problems, necessitating their vehicles to be towed to undisclosed Tesla service locations in California. While the situation is not ideal, it is important to note that it is not a catastrophic setback. Tesla is renowned for its ability to deliver over-the-air updates, suggesting that the software glitches can likely be addressed and resolved effectively. Given the time that has passed since the last reported incident involving a stranded Tesla Semi, it is likely that Tesla has already taken measures to rectify the issue. Furthermore, Tesla recently unveiled its Master Plan Part 3 white paper, divulging fresh insights into the future of the Tesla Semi. The document encompasses a comprehensive chart that outlines various vehicle categories, battery chemistry, pack size, and production volume. Within the realm of heavy trucks, Tesla classifies them as semi-light and semi-heavy. The semi-heavy version, which has garnered substantial attention, incorporates a high nickel battery cathode and boasts an 800 kilowatt hour pack size. Interestingly, some drivers have reported the trucks having a thousand kilowatt hour packs, suggesting potential rounding up or future plans to reduce pack sizes for enhanced efficiency and decreased weight aligning with Tesla's objectives. Conversely, the Tesla Semi-Lite, an upcoming vehicle from Tesla, has yet to be revealed. Noteworthy is Tesla's intention to incorporate LFP, or lithium iron phosphate, battery chemistry, which offers lower energy density compared to nickel-based batteries, but comes with the advantage of being more cost-effective to produce. The anticipated lower range variant of the Semi-Lite is projected to feature a 500 kilowatt hour pack, LFP batteries are characterized by their reduced volatility compared to nickel-based cathodes, enabling full charge and discharge cycles without significant degradation. While the total range might be comparatively lower, the practical range for daily operations could potentially be higher, making the Tesla Semi-Lite an appealing option upon its eventual launch. Elon Musk is optimistic about Tesla's production potential aiming for a run rate of 50,000 trucks per year by 2024. This relies on a $3.6 billion expansion of the Giga Nevada factory, which will become the main Tesla Semi production site. Currently, 
only a few dozen semis have been assembled in a temporary factory nearby. While these ambitious predictions are uncertain, Tesla has already fulfilled around one-third of Pepsi's semi-annual order. Whether Tesla expands its fleet further or turns to other notable customers like Walmart remains to be seen. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, click the link shown on screen. Remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, have a good one.